Today in this video, we learn about place value of numbers. Sunny, look how many beautiful flowers have bloomed in the garden. Yes, Kathy, there are so many. Looking at them, I'm thinking, why not make a garland of flowers? Yes, it will be so much fun. Look, I have made five garlands of ten flowers. And three flowers are left. This means I had total of 53 flowers, out of which I made a garland of only 50 flowers. Wow, Sunny! How did you count so quickly? Let me explain to you. You must know the group of any 10 objects we call tens, and the number of loose objects we call units. Each digit of every number has its own place, which we call the place value. Friends, can you tell where is the unit's place and tens place in any two digit number? The unit's place is on the right and the tens place is on the left. Correct answer. The most important thing is that in the unit's place, we always write the numbers from 0 to 9 and when that numbers becomes 10, we make a bundle of 10, so it's written in the tens place. Now count your flowers in tens and unit terms. I have 4 garlands of 10 flowers, so we will write the number 4 here in the tens place and now we have 5 flowers separately, so we will write 5 here in the units place. 4 tens and 5 units become the number 45. Gaffy, if we have 82 flowers, how many garlands will be made and how many flowers will be left loose? 8 garlands of 80 flowers will be made and 2 flowers will be left. That means the tens place we will write 8 and units place we will write 2. Exactly Gaffy. Children, now it's your turn to find the answers to the questions given on the screen. Find out the correct answer and share it with your family and friends. Children, in this video, we learnt about the place value of numbers from 1 to 99.